Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Wayne Dang. In this video, Sonic's new Buffalo Chicken Dip Bites review. Worth it. This is the new one that he uploaded this past Saturday. And I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video... I apologize, and I will take care of them. Now, let's get to this video. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Wayne. Here today, we got something special for y'all, because today, we are at Sonic, for they released something new. Not really anything major, per se, but like a small side edition, being the new Buffalo Chicken Dipping Bites. Oh, yeah, this sounds absolutely delicious. It's going to be a short video, because we're just going to review the chicken dipping bites. But anyways, first thing, why this, uh, not that bad for a five-piece chicken, buffalo chicken dip bites. It came out to around $4.29, plus tax, which is four, uh, 35 cents, for a total of $4.64, so you guys can get it, too. And with that being said, let's go for close up. So this is a moment you've been waiting for. This is Sonic's new Buffalo Chicken Dipping Bites. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It looks absolutely beautiful. Literally, it looks like a ravioli type of thing. Like it's fried, crispy, it's super golden brown stuff nicely. I got a pack of five, and you can see there's way more in here. But look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. So the inside is supposed to be juicy chicken, buffalo sauce, and melted cheddar cheese. Oh, that sounds absolutely delicious. It's literally like a ravioli except fried. Oh, man, I can't wait to try that out. So with that being said, I'm getting hungry. Let's get the taste. So now that we got a close up out the way, it's time to try the food. And first things first, you know what I gotta do, and that's to pick up the new Buffalo Chicken Dipping Bites. I mean, take a look at this. This so it looks like fairly small, literally the size of a ravioli. Like, we compare it to my thumb lengthwise, it's about the same length as my thumb. It's a very wow. small little appetizer, but it's not bad. It was a little bit expensive, like for five pieces, four dollars. Come on, it could be a little bit cheaper, it should be around two dollars, but hopefully, it tastes good. Before we get started, make sure you like the video, also subscribe to my channel for more delicious food reviews. And with that being said, let's go on in. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh. That's not bad. Mmm. Oh, I have to say, it does get a little bit dry. Like, oh, yeah. It's actually pretty dry. The flavor is really good. Like, take a look at this. You can see this beautiful chicken that they loaded to the brim. That thing is filled with so much chicken inside this buffalo sauce. And don't really feel much cheese yet, but let me get another bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh man, take a while to swallow because it's just super dry. But I do love the flavor, like immediately, if you take a bite outside wrapper itself, it's fried to perfect, it's super crispy and crunchy, a little bit flaky too, one bite and a sh- Hold on everyone, I need to take care of something, I'll be right back. I'm back, sorry about that everybody. Shadows like fine glass, absolutely beautiful. Then get to the inside, which is okay. Flavor is actually really good. If you love buffalo type of sauce, now it has a strong buffalo flavor. Like immediately, the first thing you notice is that buffalo flavor. You know, it's a little bit acidic, a little bit vinegary with a strong buffalo essence. Beautiful. But then you get to the chicken, and in all honesty, not really a fan of the chicken. Like flavor is good, but for your actually body, the chicken, the texture, not so great. Like it, it feels like it's like a shredded type of chicken, except for you're eating it, it's all types of dry. There's no moisture at all. Like it tears apart easily for your body, which is not a problem. It pairs really well with the buffalo sauce. How it's just super duper dry. Like I don't know how they cooked it, but they cooked out all the moisture from the chicken. Not a great experience. As for the cheese, you don't even feel the cheese. Like it's supposed to be a cheddar feel. I feel no types of cheddar. No type of cheese in here. All tasted the buffalo sauce, which is kind of overpowering. You know, they could kind of tone back the sauce a little bit. It would be a lot better. But other than that. Not really great, but, you know, flavor is not bad. But fortunately for me, I also requested a marinara sauce to pair with it because I knew just in case it was going to be dry or something, I wanted something liquidy to pair up with. And we got the marinara sauce. Oh, yes, you can see this one looks like absolutely beautiful. Get a good, strong tomato essence. Woo! Hey, you got to know, dip, dip, dip for nice saucy action. Got a good amount of marinara. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Like I said earlier, this looks like uh, what you call it, a ravioli. And once you pair it up with the marinara sauce, it literally feels like a ravioli too. <laughs> like it has oh. a great combination. Got a nice crispy wonton skin, or I think it's, I don't know what type of skin it is. But anyway, it feels like a wonton skin. But it's crispy, it's crunchy, and the chicken itself, and the buffalo sauce pairs with marinara. This is a good combination. 
<laughs> Sorry, everybody. Had to crack my neck. Sorry about that. And I need a minute. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! This one's even bigger. <laughs> like the marinara sauce itself, I like Sonic's marinara sauce. You know, it's not bad. Seasoned well, you taste all the Italian herbs and seasoning, especially the tomato essence. It's very strong tomato flavor. Very nice. Because really well is this. Like this is a good combination. If you ever get the buffalo chicken dipping bites from Sonic, don't get it alone. Pair it up with the marinara sauce or some type of sauce that is going to need some help. Just this alone is very dry, not worth it. But once you get a sauce, absolutely worth it. So what's that means I say Sonic's new buffalo chicken dipping bites are just okay, you know. Flavor is actually quite nice. If you love buffalo flavored things, absolutely delicious. But just the way they made it, like everything was going so good, but then you get to the chicken, it just falls short. The chicken itself is way too dry, takes away from the experience. Because that chicken was juicy, I guarantee the buffalo chicken bites would be absolutely beautiful. But because it's so dry, not a great feeling. Overall ready, I'll give it a solid. Um, I give it a solid 6 out of 10 You know, it's not great I love the crispy outside wow. I love the buffalo flavor But that chicken That chicken is just no good And the cheddar cheese You don't even feel any cheese Like when you're eating it All the buffalo sauce Kind of overpowers the cheese So you don't feel any cheesy type of sensation No cheesy yeah. type of feel yeah. And mixed in with that dry yeah. chicken It's not good Overall, 6 out of 10 But with that being said I want to say that If you guys want to go Sonic And try the new Buffalo chicken dipping bites I would definitely say Probably pass on it. It's not really the best. Not really so great. Like, I, unless you like buffalo flavored items, maybe go give it a try. It is kind of pricey. Like, for five pizzas, it's four dollars and something cents. That's pretty pricey considering how small they were. They're like the length of my thumb, okay? But if y'all want to try it, go ahead. But in my personal opinion, I'll probably say skip it and get something else because it's not really worth it. But, anyways, guys, that's about it. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, share this video with all your friends and family. Also, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel because you know I'm a small YouTuber. Any support does go a long way. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Catch y'all later. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up. Sorry, I had an itch right there. Sorry about that, everybody. And I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my link, sorry. My words run together. Sorry about that, everybody. My my bad. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or to Wayne Dang's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know we both post and share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists on both my main channel and my second channel and give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 8,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 3,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too. Please, everybody, I would really appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too. Please, everybody, I would really appreciate it. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate that too. Please, everybody, please. Please, everybody, please. And I'm off now. So until next time, see ya.